All right, today's show is sponsored by Joey's Mobile Detailing. Guys, check out Joey's Mobile Detailing for a special deal that he's got. But, Matt, you're going to tell us all about Joey. You've gotten work done by him. Yeah, just recently I had our truck done. We had a full service. Uh, it was disgusting from all the kids. And afterwards, it was cleaner than new. Uh, Joey's Mobile Detailing is a uh, Facebook page and Instagram. He shows pictures like before and after. He's done, I think, over a 1,000 cars, I think. Give him a call. His number is 321-917-6934. And he's offering a deal to our listeners. It is $10 off a full service and $15 off a deluxe detail. Nice. I'm going to have to get my Tundra. Anything? I'm going to have to get my Tundra done. Well, tell them the guy sent you. Tell them the OGs. The OGs. Tell them the OGs. And guys, if anybody's listening outside of the Central Florida area, and you want to sponsor the show, why don't you hit us up on email and we'll work out deals with you guys too so you can promote to your local audiences. All right, that's right and right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the following program is intended for mature audiences. Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Show. Each week, four friends sit down and shoot the shit. As the shenanigans begin, hilarity ensues as everything is caught on tape. And now, broadcasting from a random table, it's time! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Ordinary Guys Show. What's the problem? Today? <laughs> what is it now? <clears throat> Every time we start a show, there's a problem. It's a little low, right? <sighs> I I didn't know if we were on or not because yeah. it sounded it was... like John wasn't on. Yeah, I'm well, yeah. on. Everybody was on. That time we were all on our best behavior when we started the show. What is up, that, everybody? The first time. Let's take that back. The first time we were all on our best behavior and started the show because you allowed us to have our microphones. Yes, that's the first time you guys were on your best behavior. Thank you very much. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. John here. Kevin's back. Matt, Frank. Hey, hey. Kevin, welcome back. We missed you. <laughs> Fat Albert's back. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek on this uh, podcast. John's not happy. <laughs> no. Yeah. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff I'm sure will be he, put out on YouTube later. Bear. We're having a lot and, of camera and issues. To our 38 YouTube <laughs> like and subscribers, can you please tell your friends to do the same because we need it. We had one person watch the Damn. live. I can't I hear myself at I, all. But yeah, one person. What do we had two pop? It's 11 yeah. o'clock at night though. So yeah. this right. is prime time for Facebook. Everyone's laying in bed uh, jerking off. Not doing anything productive. <laughs> scrolling okay. through Facebook. Taking a break, scrolling through Instagram. Taking a break, scrolling through Facebook. Yeah. They'll catch the syndicated version. Don't you think? Syndicated? Syndicated. Yeah, it'll play. It'll <laughs> Who's syndicate. syndicating us? It'll syndicate out the to mob. all the viewers, everybody. <laughs> so there was a requirement of this show, but I don't consider it so much a requirement. But I can tell you this. I really appreciate everything John does. We're going to start this show off on a good note for John since he is not <laughs> happy with us. Without John, this whole thing would have never started. And Matt and Frank would be fired. I think we, <laughs> Matt. You, what, what did you mean by requirement, though? Was you were, what do you mean? You it's, said it's something about a requirement thing. before you said that. Well, it's you like know, we got to earn a paycheck around here. Oh, Time to pay oh, the bills. Oh, John oh, told you to say that. Or wait, we have to actually pay him to be on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, so anyways, you I guys think owe me $15 for adult, hosting. Man. No, yeah. literally, I had you guys at my house. You guys owe me fifteen dollars <laughs> a piece, <laughs> a minute. Yeah, I didn't mean, I mean hosting the web page. I meant hosting your asses at my house. We took it. <laughs> we feel like we're a burden and we're very upset. So, yep. didn't somebody reach out and say they had some topics that they wanted us to talk about, like how this started or yeah, something? Yeah, so right off the bat with that, how yeah. the podcast started and what uh, podcast we listen to or use as. Uh, what would you say? Inspiration. Inspiration. Go for it. Well, John, you start because you've done all the legwork, the YouTube videos. 
I mean, you awesome. sat through hours of really homosexual wrestling stuff just to get us here. <laughs> Seriously. Listen, I listen to podcasts a lot. Wrestling podcasts, uh-huh. uh, financial podcasts, um, pretty much wrestling financial podcasts. And uh, and a Joe Rogan I've been watching. Uh, yeah, there's another one called H3H3 on, on the internet. So, on YouTube, rather. So, I had interest in it, and I was looking at buying myself a microphone and doing some kind of podcast. And I don't know what it was going to be about. I honestly don't. But every time we would get together, the four of us, and sit down, we'd have a conversation and just talk about anything and everything. And bam, it happened from there. And uh, somebody said, why don't we, we should record this something. And I said, well, let's start a podcast. Well, but I kind of, I, I got asked this the other day. I'm like, they're like, how'd you figure out you wanted to start that? And I said, it really didn't happen by choice. Like we were sitting around at a birthday party drinking beers and everybody was probably a little bit intoxicated. <laughs> and it was like, hey, let's order some equipment and let's do this and this and this. And then the next day we woke up and we're like, we should probably go ahead and do that. Like. Well, you Why ordered not? your mic. I think you ordered your microphone two days before we did the first. Yeah, podcast. you know, it's I'm accurate. always. I gotta he, he wasn't wait sure. to the last yeah. minute. He wasn't sure. Oh, I was in it to win it, but as everybody knows, I am the cheapest of the ordinary guys. So <laughs> but, I was trying to wait for it to go on sale. <laughs> I think it was just a, a literally that this is going to be, you know, fun. It's rather cheap to get into. I mean, literally spent thirty five dollars on a so microphone. He's the guy who just build us. Yeah, fifty bucks a piece. Yeah. I mean, we spent 50 bucks a piece the first week, yeah. pretty much. So, uh, the first to get everything. And then he bought start. us breaded wings. Yeah. Breaded and then wings. I bought wings. Yep. Yeah. Hey, breaded. John, get us some wings, non breaded. Yeah. Okay, guys. Breaded. Breaded. I can't hear myself. I can't yeah. hear shit. You we ate a whole you. shit ton of them, though. We near you. I ate a lot, and I felt horrible that night. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. everybody, you know, uh, everybody has their own opinion about how it started, but let's just thank me. I would, I, you know, he does love himself right now. But to be honest, without John, this would have never got off the ground. Because oh God. I can't tell you how many times Frank has said, hey, can somebody give me the stats on Frank's this? Because Frank doesn't even know how to log hey, in. To Frank's getting Trump and Putin over yeah. here. Frank's getting very, very jealous. Uh, no, Frank's I'm getting, getting jealous. very jealous that One man the man. attention is taken off of him. Frank, you're still no, the no. prettiest of Not. all of us. John, just let us know when it's our turn to blow you. <laughs> Listen, this <is> locker <laughs> room talk. <laughs> Locker room talk. What was that, Tara, about blowing? Oh, oh God. This, this is, is Okay, amateur. so, again, Tara's my cousin, so I'm going to leave the room if it goes down that road. <laughs> my wife is Kevin sitting had- in, by the way. Uh, we hadn't announced that, but this Tara's my wife. She's sitting in for the podcast because kind of like to cool me down type of thing because we've had so many technical difficulties with cameras. I actually broke one. So Blue saw. Yeah. So now we're on my GoPro. So John's not allowed to break that. No, I can't break that one. No. Nope. All right. So we Kevin. had how it started. Yeah. What podcast for inspiration? So are we? Go- what you got, Kevin? What for my inspirational yeah. podcast? To be honest with you, I didn't listen to a whole lot of podcasts. I just listened to the Joe Rogan thing because Matt said something about Stephen Tyler being on oh, his that show. Was a good one. It was so good. It's good. And then now I'm listening to podcasts. So I'm like a rookie. I'm like a month in. But I like Shapiro and him. But honestly, I listen to talk show radio like all day long. Whatever's on, you know, Miami networks about the Dolphins and how much yeah, they suck. Worst. Yeah, yeah. And now Sad. the heat. It's just all. It's Let's all not bad. talk about the heat. The Dolphins suck. The heat will come back. Yeah, Frank, you're an avid listener, right? <laughs> I used to be. Yeah, I used to listen to podcasts all well, day long. You were traveling, right? You were yeah. traveling more. So that's my thing. It was when I'm in the car. The radio yeah. stations suck. So radio stations suck. You hear the same song on after a while, and you have no control over you know the exact song, and it's it's terrible. So I podcast. I listen to it. Well, everything. that and I found out it's nice because if a rainstorm comes, like if you're on AM, like I listen a lot of AM, and then you hear you're the lightning and thunder. Way out there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like in 1940. Kevin's on his ham radio. <laughs> yeah. I just don't get why he needs to use the radio to listen to lightning and thunder. <laughs> Jeez. So, anyways, when you listen to AM radio, it picks up on static in the air. So, you hear the lightning and thunder through your radio. Also, I found out that I couldn't figure out what was going on in my radio when I was trying to listen down, you know, down south. It was like 580 or something. And all of a sudden, I hear go, like a 
fireworks sound. I'm like, why is it doing that? And for like two months, I couldn't figure it out. Unplugged my cell phone charger from the car. That's what was making the noise. And I'm pretty sure that's what causes cancer. <laughs> because <laughs> as soon as I plugged it back in. Modulation. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> boop. And it, why is the charger making that noise? I don't know, man. It sounds like a future brain tumor to me. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. If if I don't end up with it, then they don't know where it's coming from. All right. Because I'm on the phone 24-7. Matt, what about you? What podcasts? So I got probably three or four I listen to heavily. Order a Man is a good one. Manly shit. The Art of Manliness. Uh, MF CEO. Dave Ramsey. And... Uh, the one I just started recent recently listening to was Amanda Bucci, Bucci Radio. She's a uh, little marketing. Is she bit. cute? Because Bucci she's, rhymes with some good stuff. <laughs> she's cute. <laughs> Not my style. She's brown hair, but. She's um, good. I mean, me. I, so we listen to. I guess we all listen to kind of a lot. Like we all listen to Joe Rogan. It seems kind of like as almost like a base, and then I'll hear somebody cool from rogan show and i'll start following them so that's how i started listening to uh chris kresser and ben greenfield they're both like longevity fitness people they're the ones that teach y'all like the crazy yeah it took me a while to get through whatever the fuck you said for five minutes earlier <laughs> all right well starting the show same way he's we out the frank last one. there goes frank yep. that's it don't shit on fuck frank you guys at all. i'm out don't shit on frank at all he's the star nope that's fine <laughs> He's going to pout about it. Uh, uh, okay, listen. I want to get on to a serious topic now. Oh, man. This is something that uh, it's a little bit old. It's a little old. Um, but it's serious, okay? Recently, a young man got in front of his hometown, uh, his hometown city council, <laughs> <laughs> to ask them to consider a, uh, a very simple ordinance. To legalize... Where, where is this? This is in Kentucky. Okay, Kentucky. Yes. Kentucky. We, we're painting the picture here. Kentucky. Right. Kentucky <laughs> explains a lot. So mm. he wants hey, to legalize... Kentucky, you back off. My whole family lives in Kentucky. <laughs> so does a half of mine. So. What, is he, what does he want to legalize? He wants to legalize happy endings. Oh. What are those? Let's give him yeah. a round of applause. But being that he's from Kentucky, yeah. I feel like it's an underlying excuse to legally sleep with his sister. I don't know what a happy uh, ending is. It could be a part of his plan. Yeah. But uh, he uh, he says, and I quote, if someone wants to yank a guy's crank, I say let them. Now, this is coming from the words of what could be a modern day genius. I doubt it. Would you yeah. like to hear some no, of his... Uh, not when you listen to it. Some of his stuff? Sure. Let's listen to him, John. Well, I just uh, lost da, the page da, da, da. there. But hey, here it comes right now. And no, no, no pun Brick. intended. Well, let's listen to him. I wish we could. That'd be nice. I wish Hi, I could I'm hear myself. Chris Flowers. Hi. If licenses and regulations yeah. help stop sex trafficking, then if Kansas truly wanted to put an end to sex slavery, shouldn't they allow grown adults to engage in prostitution legally and then regulate and license that? When you ban something outright, that forces Listen what you ban guy. onto the black market. And the black market is... I can't. Sounds like him. It's done. It's Case done. In point, he sounds like he has ago, something stuck came. up his nose. Yep. That's the ho only thing I heard the well, whole time was him go... Plus, he's just... He sounds like someone who's about to giggle because of the word poop. <laughs> he's very nervous. You know what I mean? Where you're fighting the gill. <laughs> poop. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> or back when you were in school and you were you and your buddy were laughing about something and they told you to stop laughing, yeah. no more laughing, and you had to hold it. And it was way funnier then, yeah. and it wasn't a really funny thing. Yeah. But being being like forbidden to laugh. Yeah, I used yeah. to always get in trouble for that because like a buddy would stay over when you're like nine or whatever, you giggle till fucking five in the morning. Yeah, and then your yeah. dad comes in and he's like, "If you don't shut up, yep. I'm going to destroy you." And you think you've been you giggling like a little and girl? You're... How fucking embarrassing is wow, your dad? Wow, I'm really loud. In. So then you're sitting there, going, <laughs> yeah. and your buddy's doing it, which is making you yeah. worse. And then the night ends up being that 
Have you ever cried so much you can't breathe where you're like, because <laughs> then your dad yeah. comes in <laughs> and tears you up? That was me last week. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, the? <laughs> oh, he was, was literally in tears. I was crying so bad because of Frank's laugh. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, though. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because then you wake up and you're both in the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm very loud right now in my headphones. <laughs> if you watch this if you watch this clip because I can't hear myself. Yes. You're stealing all my power. If, <laughs> I think Tara's stealing your power. I it. yeah, stealing it. your power. Really? And then I'm stealing his power. It's like the Power Rangers. Oh, it's because he's using that pink. Hey, you want to try mine? Get black head, stuff all over your head? No, because I was going to point to the camera. So you can see all the black shit in his ear. What's wrong with the pink headphones? They I don't... love the pink. I will. I, as long as I'm able to use these, I will use them. You know them. what I'm saying? Are they not working? Camden saw them on you, and she's like, what does he have my headphones on yeah. for? Thank you, Camden. Yeah, tell her to get a job. Shout They're out to Camden. Why don't, you guys, yeah. why don't you guys switch headphones to see, see if it works? No. No? He likes the pink. Uh, I'm rocking them, dude. See? Okay, so the best part about this video, though, is there's there's two people behind the gentleman. Okay, the woman in front could care less what, what he's saying. She's just got her head down. But the guy in the back, the old man in the back is like, every time he's talking, he's like, hell yes. Let's do it. Let's call. And he's just is laughing. thumbs up No, you know, I haven't seen him thumbs up but he he's. He thumbs up, but it was, it was pure acknowledgement. Yeah, he was definitely into the idea. He, was he has board. a VIP card. I feel like it was like the church of getting jerked off. And he's like, amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, ultimately the goal and what this guy compares stuff to was that. Back in the day, him and his friend got some marijuana, as he says, and they smoked it and found off out the it, black market. Off the black market, yes. He and, said that, yes, yeah. and found out it was laced. Okay, so if it wasn't on the black market and he could go to Walgreens and buy his weed, right, he'd be better off. He'd be same with getting jerked off with somehow yeah, on the they black sell market that on aisle three. Well, I mean, on the, if you're getting jerked off on the black market, you could get a laced jerk off, right. What does that consist of? So now, of, if Matt? they legalize it, <laughs> there's no lacing jerk off. Yeah, a lace jerk off is like you come in and they know you're an asshole, so they fucking rub their hand on their herpes vagina and then they jerk you off. You're you get from a, experience. You get a but, sandpaper tug. Yeah, but if it was legalized, she'd wash her fucking hands. She would. <laughs> I doubt it. So, but right. then, okay, but then we come into let's let's go there. You want to talk politics? So, if if yep. you're talking about she has the option to discriminate who she's going to jerk off, is she allowed yeah. to she's say... She's racist. Is, is she allowed to say, I'm not going to do this person because of... Such no, such. I think all hand jobs matter in this case. <laughs> right? Touche. Hands I up, mean. pants down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking walk into Walmart and then not Where let is that buy. legal, like... That whole thing, just Vegas? Not, it's not even Vegas. Prostitution? Uh, prostitution. Legal prostitution in Vegas. I mean, I consider no, that No, there's one place, the Bunny Ranch. Where is that? Arizona yeah. or somewhere? That's no. Is that Vegas? Yeah. It's, but it's not. It's, in its own. It's outside of Vegas. Oh, really? That's why they have to throw the handout things to you or some shit like that. Hmm. So, they if, always do the, if yeah. you're like, would you like to <laughs> and throw the money, there's no verbal Subscribe agreement. to YouTube. Like. Yeah. And you will be able to see this video of Matt. <laughs> hand, like the uh, the fucking pitcher in the baseball game. Yeah, hand, hand signs. signals to hand the signals. fucking um, the, yeah. the coach. I like it. I, I can, mean, I so technically, you didn't enter into any agreement. No, she just knew you were Loop asking holes. her for a uh, low and away. <laughs> <laughs> Curve ball. Fast ball down the center. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Cur so no, the curve. Frank, Frank loves curve when, when you ask her for the curveball <laughs> is when right before you're about to come, she whips out her own dick. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and, oh, and if you still come, thing, that whole thing is just to me is just scary because <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like <laughs> what is she done in life that is going to lead her to this point right now? That there's a lot of money that she's pulling money. out her own dick. No, that's just <laughs> there ain't enough money in this world. To do what? For me to ever think about doing anything like that. Jerking people off for a living? <laughs> so what the you, fuck are we talking about? You, 
I missed it. Meaning hypothetically. There's I've, nothing oh, that would take me down that road. That ever. you would jerk off people for a living. That I would not. I feel personally feel like I lick buttholes all day for a living. Man, maybe jerking off won't be so bad. A little change. Whose butthole are you licking? Everybody's. Ooh. My bosses. Well, well that's oh. interesting. Yeah. You figure you'd get a little more money then. Are we, are we going to pull back from this or you, are we going to delve in? No, let's build in. Right in. Let's delve in. No. So, Frank, <laughs> how do you really feel about... Who's Delvin? Delvin. <laughs> Jobin. Jobin. <laughs> Jobin. Oh, that's going to give me some hate mail. Did you just call me Jobin? <laughs> Jobin. Jobin. So, Jobin. Listen, my real question, though. Pistol Pete. <laughs> that I want to post to you Are guys. you avoiding this for Frank? What? We're, no, we've, we've no. got somewhat Frank, of a structure on this yeah, thing. There is some kind of. I have to keep control of the show. Right. Reel it in. I'm All right, reel, reel it in. Reel Captain. you guys in. Reel it in. Dick first, if you want to get drive it, Moby. So, my, Frank no. always talks about dicks. Always. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, John, Remember, John we don't want to offend anybody. Earlier. No, we don't want to uh, upset the hashtaggers. But yeah. I. Frank loves what were we talking about yeah, earlier. Like, <laughs> like if there was a little thing that you could just attach to you that would spit out like what you were thinking about every time, you know, right? So it's like you're just driving down the street and you're like, oh, cheeseburger, or McDonald's, yeah. McDouble, yeah. And then you know, I'd be sitting around one night and it, yeah. and like it would really throw people off if they read my transcript. It would be like vagina, dick, 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 <laughs> dick, dick, vagina. And That's all you talk why about. Why do you think about dicks so much? Oh, you think? See, this thing is a misconception. Have you ever seen what Super if I was Bad? Think, what if I was Have Googling you ever seen a gangbang? Super bang? Bad when he's like, I had to stop. He was drawing dicks. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, dicks everywhere. He had to cut out all dick shaped food. Hey. Anything that had to do with dicks, that's Frank. What kind of he food is dick, dick intervention? Listen. Subs, popsicles, corn dogs, the hot best dogs. Kinds. Yes. <laughs> I, when I used to work in the bond firm down in Miami, I would steal everybody's wallets dicks. and photocopy their driver's license. And I would draw dicks and scan their face on the scanner at work. Their what? their face on a dick. And I'd put it on the fucking sales board every morning. How long have you been 13? Dick of the day. Everybody liked <laughs> okay. my dick of the day. Now, to get to the back to the topic, let's reel it back to the topic. Well, we are talking about dicks. Yep. So, my question is... Favorite topic. When you got... Your, uh, Nobody th- saw that, by the if way. If anybody got a massage here, <laughs> has anybody got a massage here? First off, no, yeah, never. No. You've yeah. gotten a massage. I've gotten a massage. Okay, so when you were getting a massage, yep, did it move? Uh, no, because Janet was fucking with me and told me that she was a lesbian. So mentally, knowing that you have no, that didn't come out right. That just sounded like Janet said she was a lesbian. The Janet the told mas- me the masseuse, masseuse was a lesbian. Was a lesbian. So in the back of my Tara, mind, did it's you just hear it natural. like I heard it? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, so that. no, the Kevin masseuse was a lesbian. Digging people out. So <laughs> what if Janet sounds like a lesbian? <laughs> right. Who cares? She could be a lesbian. But so I think deep down in the back of your mind, when you know that you really don't have a chance, it's like an energy conservation thing. You're like the blood could be in other places, but. When I got home later and Janet told me she wasn't a lesbian, random boner. <laughs> See? It was a you went back reaction. in your brain. In the back of my brain. Yeah. That you could have done. Yeah, so. At this point when she's rubbing my inner thigh, I could have oh, said. Yeah. Could have hey. easily been like, hey, thanks you, for rubbing my you dick. You heard this guy's trying to make this legal. Yeah. <laughs> that have been Frank's line. Well, well yeah. I that did moment when it. she was rubbing oil on your butthole. Yeah. And you're like, I wonder if we can take this to the next level. I did have a massage. <laughs> On your butthole? No, no. <laughs> I had Tara. a full, I had a full body massage. It was a couple massage, couples massage. Didn't we end up massaging each other too, or something like that? Oh, that's a fucking waste of oh, money. Well, it was. <laughs> that might, paying, that might have been somebody, somebody else. else to do oh, <laughs> but, come on! But elaborate. I'm going. I think on, it moved. I'm leaving. <laughs> I think it moved while I was getting massaged. Why are you leaving? John's digging his hole. The He's Jamaican, digging his grave. The Jamaican He's lady. He's digging yeah. his grave. The, I think it moved. I gotta be honest. Told me this. Well, she was she was Somebody touching in Tara Mike. She was yeah. touching in some areas that were. Flip kind your of, mic around. You know, oh, on our honeymoon, nice to know. Yeah, well, some nice husbands. It, we were staying at a sandals resort. Why are you going that way? We were staying at a sandals resort, mm-hmm. and it was uh, you know people were fucking everywhere in the resort. Yes. I mean, literally. You gotta like get right on it, Tara. Okay. And uh, I don't even hear myself. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. Welcome to my life. 
<laughs> Matt can't hear a thing over there. It's like a fucking dead zone. So we were we were staying at the Sandals Resort, uh-huh. and we got the couple's massage, and I I I think it moved. You notice how John was trying to be dirty? John was trying to like set some future thoughts. Yeah, he was trying to make me have nightmares <laughs> for no, months. Thank God, Tara <laughs> shot that out of the sky. No, he was trying yeah. to set it up. He's like, hey, Just- we can get another one, and then next time we can. We can do some stuff. Oh, you didn't catch John trying to be dirty, though? John's sitting there, and he's like, yeah, they were fucking. (laughs) There was a lot of fucking going on at this resort. There was a lot of sex. There was. In the pool. In the the pool. Everything. We were sitting at a bus stop one time uh, while we were waiting for the bus to take us back to our room. And, uh, man, they were just going at it in the pool. And, uh, Ugh. and then Again, you got swim on in my that. side. Fart that direction. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was quite entertaining. <laughs> is it bad? It is bad. Isn't Frank! It? That so, is Frank's awful. on a keto diet that makes him poop. <laughs> protein farts. Ugh. Protein uh. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, now that Tara knows that John's in the Jamaican it. ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> so John, you like the Jamaican ladies? Teach you something new, or is it the you accent? Years to tell me that. It is nothing with the accent. It's just uh, the 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 uh, the rub. rub down. It was the dreadlocks. It was the rub no tug that was going on. I didn't care who it was that. Was That's rubbing. why he brought up the law. Huh? I'm looking for it to change. Yeah, yeah. John's really just working I knew it was on a shit woman. in his own bedroom. I knew it was That's a all woman he's got going on. that was rubbing. But uh, you know, uh, I got to be honest. I can't do massages. There. Like at all, um, I won't even let like anybody touch the center of my back because I broke it while I was riding motocross when I was younger. So the thought of me brag alert, <laughs> yeah, that's something to brag about. So the thought of me like somebody touching that is like, oh, it just makes me cringe. So mm-hmm. there will never be any massages for me, ever. You're missing out, dude. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Not but, even from your wife. No, she doesn't do it either. Yeah. Do you Big rub your wife's prostate feet. massage? Yeah, what? there you go. <coughs> Matt knows what's up. I know that 50% of the population here is on board with what I'm talking about. Finger in the butt? <laughs> Not just finger of the butt, man. It's got to like be twisted and angled the right way. No, I'm not on board. Yeah. Uh, I remember my first time. <laughs> Let me tell you. It was fucking awkward. Let me tell you. First no, off, this is what oh, you gotta elaborate. Uh, yeah. You're talking about the uh, doctor. I'm talking or... about the, the prostate. <laughs> I'm talking about the prostate exam. Oh, oh I've done that. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> the finger in the butt. <laughs> pretty much. Turn your head and That's cough. What we do. Yeah, pretty much the finger in the butt. Turn I your just, head and cough is when he has your balls in his hand. Yeah. I just went and he had balls and a finger. Dude was having a party. And dick in the mouth. <laughs> Fuck. I just went there for just a normal exam. Yeah, well, I think normal. I was having I had a cold. It's because you're how old? Well, Tara was in the room with me. Okay. That makes it weirder. And it was yeah. weird. And he's like, okay. He opens the drawer and he pulls out this damn and you tab. Say, hey, where do I put my pants? Over there by Listen, mine. Listen, just fine. Just <laughs> out of curiosity, you're in a room with Tara. Yeah. Some dude's got his finger up your ass. It didn't bounce. It didn't move. And no, then it, it moved. Time, it didn't move. That <laughs> didn't shit moved. Move. That shit moved all right. About uh, fucking couple inches inside. Yeah. So, but uh, he. Yeah. Can you edit the part about inside? It so went it in. Sounds like it went in. That bitch went turtle. turtle that's head. for sure. Turtle in the shell. Gave you a full on dicky do. He, but he, <laughs> he, uh, when he puts the glove on, it's like fucking yeah. methodically putting the glove on yeah. too. Okay. And it he, always I hope and he I said, hates what's it that as for? much as I do. Frank, Frank goes, Frank goes uh, sound, uh, sir, can you please raw dog? <laughs> no. Uh, happened, sir, no glove, please. <laughs> what happened to me that really fucking pissed me off was the dude, The guy wasn't even a doctor. <laughs> no, the dude's, listen, every fucking sound, it's always, right? The, right. <laughs> everything in me it took to not spit that drink out. Did you see that? <laughs> Why does the KY always make a sound? Like, does the shit have to go... <laughs> <laughs> when he squeezes it, that's shit that bothered me. Step number K-Y one. K-Y or Astroglide. It was Astroglide. <laughs> so then the other thing is, as he's got my finger, his fingers up my ass, my fingers up his <laughs> ass. We were doing something. <laughs> he asked me, he asked me if, 
how your day was. <laughs> it, no, he asked me if I ha- if I had homosexual encounters. No, we didn't. Get out of here. He said you had a loose butthole. No, <laughs> loose butthole. no. It's like I'm going three fingers in it. No. <laughs> There's a deeper story. There's All a deeper of a sudden, story. he's fist you. He's so much better. But <laughs> All of a sudden, he's got you. He's got his finger on my ass, and he's asking me if I'm gay, and I had to ask him if this particular event counted. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> you're, you're over there. Sir, have you started yet? He's got his fist in your ass. Uh, <laughs> but you know what was up weird? To his elbow. It was says, him, it was do, him do and it? a male nurse. So there was two dudes looking up my keister. They were probably How high five. Tell me you're Dude. joking. No, I was. No, but the reason was I ran to the hospital <laughs> because I was in the gym and I had to go to the bathroom and I just started shitting blood. Mm. Your butthole flipped inside yes. out. There. Don't, mention, a, a. don't mention fucking bleeding back there. Yeah. That's the trigger for them right. to pull out that shit and start yeah. testing you. Yeah. So then he asked me if I took a dick in my ass and that's why I'm bleeding. And I'm like, no, bro, I would fucking know if I was bleeding because of a dick in my ass. <laughs> No, right. from experience. Be like, yeah, hit the fuck that button. shit slides in no problem. Yeah, it's not the fucking dick. <laughs> it's your fucking He-Man fingers. <laughs> you know, fucking that's that's going to bring me to another story, because oh, personally, God. I've been on the same road with the finger up the butt because of the 30-year-old <laughs> yeah. prostate exam. Ten minutes ago, nobody knew what no, we were talking about. I no, fucking no, avoid no, the doctor. No. I will <laughs> avoid the doctor until I'm like on my deathbed. You haven't had your 30-year? Hell no. Really? Well, I'm 35, and I haven't been I've to a doctor it. since as a fucking pediatrician. Yeah, <laughs> they, if no, they did that to you, no you fucking call lie. Child protective services. No fucking lie. My sophomore year of college, I went back to my dad's house for like Thanksgiving holiday, and I got really sick. And my dad didn't know who to call, so he called my fucking pediatrician. <laughs> so a sophomore in college, and I am sitting Hold on up. a fucking fire engine table. No, you're a liar. That's off of forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Ask my dad. Dad, it was either an airplane. That was on forgetting Sarah Marshall. It was either airplane or a He's fucking. Like, How's my dick look? Yeah. That's a good looking dick. <laughs> no. Yeah. So this guy, so the doctor comes in, he starts laughing. He's like, I haven't seen you in a while. And like the last time I was there, I was seven years old. Now you're 25. No, it's a fucking sophomore college the first time. Well, you have to do a physical before you go to college. Yeah, but Remember not, we had to get the MMR shots and stuff? I was in stuff? Connecticut. I was in Connecticut and I got strep throat while I was in Connecticut. When I was here, I had my doctor They checked here. your butt for step, strep throat? Yeah, no. that's weird. I'm not talking about checking my butt, you asshole. I'm talking about so going to my your... pediatrician. We were talking about fingers in the butt. You're like, yeah, I'm going to my pediatrician. <laughs> you said the last place you've been to was your pediatrician. So I was saying, speaking of that. So the doctor yeah. comes in and says. Me while I whip this out. <laughs> kind of. So, whatever. Fucking shaft sound effects over here. <laughs> He'll yeah, get funny. So my dad took me to my pediatrician because he didn't know what to do, and I was fucking 19 years old. So now here's Kevin with his story about his prostate exam that he didn't remember 10 minutes no, ago. No, 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 no. He <laughs> was talking about fingers in the butt in a pleasurable sense. So it wasn't I, a prostate I exam. <laughs> we were was talking just a about. in the ass. <laughs> yeah, this was not pleasurable. Who I wants had to, to listen in. to this? <laughs> no, but it was funny because Morgan's best friends ends up being the nurse. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. So then I get a rectal exam with my wife's best friend. That's she didn't actually do it. You got an erection? But, but, yeah. I no. Yeah. Did it move? No. Yeah. That's the problem. So now she told Morgan you're gay. <laughs> oh, my God. Kevin's gay. His dick. Well, she wasn't the one doing it. She was the one that had to, like, be the nurse for it. Like, See I'm if pretty sure she didn't look. I don't even think she was in the room. Where did where was just the exam? Uh, she Snapchatted your butthole. She was looking at <laughs> corn. Knowing her, she probably did. <laughs> All right, so I'm pulling it back in now. Are we on board with this gentleman from Kentucky? Or no. Not? You don't want legal hand jobs. No. No. Okay. I I'm, feel like I'm all about freedom. Yeah, freedom. So it, if you want to charge for that, go for it. If you want to be a hooker, charge for it. Yeah, go but for there's it. this thing World's called AIDS. World's that's oldest their, profession. That's their own deal. You're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If he wants to do it, fucking go for it. Who are we to say no? That's yeah. like telling a sports the Conservative guy. in me would make me agree, but it's disgusting. Well, speaking I of mean, conservative asshole. But listen, what if you're really drunk and you had two choices? Because you're really drunk and you're getting some regardless. It's either the skank you picked up from the bar <laughs> or 
you can go to a licensed professional who's just going to jerk you off. Essential oils, and it's going to it's going to be beautiful. You feel yeah. like home. You got that like, can you do me a favor and also make it smell like warm bread in here? I'm a and it'll be fucking done. I can go to Taco Bell, get a five dollar box, go to bed. I'm and I'm with the Taco Bell. Sure, because yeah. well, I'm going to jerk off to anyway. No, dude. If Not I'm even out that. Drinking. No. The no, only problem dude, is the after Taco box, Bell, you have to jerk off on the, the crystal toilet. burgers at night. They are my ugh. Dude, Crystal Burger, man. Crystal, because it's corn right pups. there. It's always there. It doesn't matter where you are. I've had so many corn pups in my cup holders. I love corn The pups. wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a corn pup? Fuck, yeah. It's a corn dog. Yeah. It's one a miniature of, yeah. corn dog. It's like a little cute corn dog. That's why I got to order like six yeah. of them. One of them cute. fell out of the little chili cheese bun that they have. Oh, you're talking about the corn Has dog. anybody had garbage can fries? Or not garbage. It was a great like fucking out of, hot dog. Out of the bun, dude. Can you? Or yeah. out of the, uh, can you really eat, eat like that? Out, and it was a fucking green hot dog. It I got that wrong. Kevin's it's hot dog. junkyard fries, and they're at Crystal's. They're not on the menu because I know about all those snacks. Yeah, I haven't been to Crystal since I was can at you, my pediatrician. drunk last time. <laughs> <laughs> can you Which was like eat, seven days ago. Can you actually eat like that still? What Crystal's? Without, yeah, like oh yeah, getting heartburn. And no, stuff. I'm good. The only thing yeah. that I can let's get, talk about a moldy this honey bun. Eat a moldy honey bun <laughs> and go, eh, oh well. Because he's eating in the dark. I have a specific rule. I do not eat in the dark because I, like I have to fucking see what I'm eating. Yeah, What's going nervous. in my mouth? And he's I'm eating this honey bun. Going in your mouth. And he's like, this tastes funny. It tastes no, I funny. said it tasted chalky. Yeah. Oh. And he gets, he gets like to the last bite and he turns on the light and it's fucking moldy. Uh. Yeah. And he goes, eh. And I finished the last bite. It's and terrible. So I no, yeah. I told him I was like, if you're dead tomorrow, this is why. It's but I was fine. He was fine. His he's just he's. I ate pizza that set out in my dorm room in college for two weeks. Oh. I called my mom and I said, Landfill. Mom, how long does pizza last without being refrigerated? She goes, Kevin, if you're asking me that, don't do it. And I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. And she's like, Don't do it. Okay. You know, it also it. takes me back. You know, get hey, I was fine. Do you remember when we found the two liters of soda that were in the office for, uh, they had expired three years prior? I think I drank oh. those too. They were just so, flat, right? No, 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 no. They separated? They separated. Had, it had no Ugh. taste at all. It was just like a soda water. Yeah. Ugh. It was bad. That's gross. We drank bad. it though. Did not upset your stomach? No. No, nothing fine. does. I, I, I actually drank gas one time accidentally, like a lot of it. No, to get it, fucked I'm up. You, you, you laugh. You laugh, but I'm sure you've done it. Yeah, too. And siphoning. Yeah, and all that when you bullshit. siphon gas, it like comes up, like it's it's on you, and you're gonna swallow it, and that happens. Have you ever done it, Frank? <laughs> so Frank has not. Frank has swallowed ass, not gas. <laughs> yeah. And the crazy thing about drinking gas is it really doesn't make you sick. Didn't make me sick. Did it make you sick? No. It just you burp oil. For like a week. It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Like you burp and it tastes like oil. It's awful. Did like you old dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Fossil fuels. Yeah. You huh. ate a dinosaur. It's pretty fucking cool. So the moral of the story is get a gas siphoner. Don't use your mouth. Uh, because yeah. I have not done that just once, twice, three, or four times. Probably 15 times or more. Well, how old are you now? 35. And you can still eat like garbage fries and stuff like that. That's Oh, yeah. Man, Dude, I, nothing makes me sick. I never get heartburn or anything like that. It just uh, there's just like like an internal gauge. Pizza. The, the worse Pizza I used eat, to mess me up. Well, the worse I eat, the more like liquid my shit gets. My stomach doesn't uh. know I'm 35. Like my stomach, like even my wife is like, I can't drink all night and then wake up at seven in the morning and everything's okay and eat that crap and be all right. And I'm like. My stomach thinks it's college and it's a party. Yeah. Like, it don't care uh, at all. A fucking breakfast burrito or Waffle House fixes everything in your stomach. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, all right. I'm on board with the Waffle House burgers. Is that where we're going? IHOB. I so, have. you heard about the IHOB thing. Yeah. Back to IHOP now. It's IHOP. Yeah, it was and they a said fucking that, hoax. Was yeah, it? But it wasn't. Because when I was in Los Angeles. Pissed. No, when I was in Los Angeles, one of them actually changed their sign to they, IHOB. They like, changed a few of them, but the, they the realized everyone CEO got pissed. came out and said it was a publicity son. And you know what's awesome? But it backfired. But yeah. you know what's awesome? Backfired my ass. We're talking about it. No, they said it backfired with their shareholders because um, of the 
bailing out on the fucking pancake. Because they suck at making fucking burgers. So Their burgers are you... good. Have you had one? No, because it's a fucking, fucking pancakes IHOP. there. Yeah, yeah, my kids love IHOP. And I, I don't want to eat IHOop, I eat so I eat their burgers. French and toast good. everywhere I go. Strip club, French toast. <laughs> IHOp, French, French toast. What's your Top favorite? House, French toast. Here's a whole other subject. What's Denny's. the best French toast on the strip club market? Uh, Tootsie's, Tootsie's in Miami. I second. Tootsie's don't get anything green. No, no. Caesar salads. No fucking French toast. Yeah. Fucking French toast. French toast. I've never been there. French toast. That side of fruit was extremely tempting, but couldn't do it. <laughs> in a strip club, though, you feel comfortable eating. Bro, I had fucking onion rings. Yeah. Dude, well, it's, like, fried. it's a four-star like restaurant. Yeah. They got good food. And they have jerk off rooms. Not going to get my pants acting like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's classic. French toast. <laughs> that is classic. Okay. Yeah, way to well, mush that button a few times. Sorry. <laughs> All right, listen. We promised that we were gonna. No, try to... no, we do not fucking promise anything. No, this trust ever. Me. To we promised that we're gonna try to keep this short because Why? it's that time for Kevin hates everything. I promise shit. Oh, Kevin could go on forever with this fucking thing, man. Because it's I'm not, not gonna California. go on long. Yeah, I could go on a long time, and I bore Frank. Kevin's been in California. Me. I told you last week, Kevin has a fucking plethora of shit that he hates from I do. California. I do. Well, Frank was falling asleep when he started talking about this earlier. Well, fuck Frank. Well, because it's fucking 1230, and this is the third fucking take. <laughs> it is 1230. Third fucking take. McDonald's is closing too soon. Closing. Not the one over time. by me. Oh. We're it good doubles. for 24 hours. So is my Taco the Bell. The one at 50? Yep. You know, where we all live. Safety. I'm going to get a fucking beef burrito <laughs> and a Big Mac. <laughs> side by side. Yeah, you're gonna be shit in your brain Place now. them on yeah. top I'm and gonna, in each I'm other. I'm going to fuck the Big Mac with the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to eat whatever off. Did you know that you, if you go to a McDonald's and order a McGangbang, you will end up with a, a chicken, fish, and yeah. and a fucking trespassing <laughs> warrant. Yeah, no, they put every meat they have on the burger. They're you supposed say, to give you. Can I, a can I get a McGangbang? And they take you by the hand to the fucking freezer. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> fucking a McGangbang supposed to be a chicken sandwich in between a McDouble. <laughs> Hence yeah, that's what I thought. the fucking gangbang. I kind of like the other way. Oh. It's fine. Fish would be weird though with beef. You can get a Big Mac and ask them to replace the middle bun with a fucking chicken sandwich. So wouldn't that be the McGangbang Deluxe? Yeah, kind of. It'd be like or, a big black gangbang. <laughs> you, could get, you could get Hello there. You could get a Big Mac with every layer a chicken sandwich. Fuck, you get whatever the fuck you want if you got money. Hey, speaking of that, whatever happened to the double down? The Dude, that is no double licious. No, no, no it's it's double, double down. down. Double, double, down. double down. down. There's a fucking sandwich in between two slices of chicken breast. That, <laughs> no, that was the double licious at KFC. Double yeah. down. Yeah. Google it's double licious. Are you no, willing to not. double down your bet on that one? It's the double licious. You can still get it. I bet you our payment to John. No. Yep. <laughs> No, because the the slight fact that I'm wrong, but dude, the the it was originally a double okay. down. But double delicious still... just sounds fucking made up. It, well, yeah, it does. But you can <laughs> still Guys, order that. The double down is a dish offered by Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants, where a sandwich is formed by two pieces of fried chicken, delicious. rather so than look up more. Double delicious okay. as well. See fucking uh, double delicious. Yeah. That's not porn. And see which sort of fucking. <laughs> 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 Uh, we're never going to get Look up pictures of a delicious. It shows the double down. It does? Because that's what they but call it, it now. It's a, still on the menu. It also shows a there. chicken sandwich with a bun. Well, they you can get it without it. But listen, they still mm. have it. Order the double delicious. It's still there. The double delicious is a regular chicken fucking sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look. <laughs> with fucking uh, two pieces of chicken inside yeah. of it. Yeah, fucking double right, down. But it's the same uh, double delicious with, with no a bun. bun. With a bun. With so a bun. you can't just order the double down because that's not on the menu. But yeah. if you want a double down, you order a double delicious and throw the bun away. Or you tell them no fucking bread. Or that. No fucking bread. The point is, is I was not wrong and neither Still were you. Still have bacon on it? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Right. I'm looking at this thing now, and this thing is just a fucking picture of processed turd. 
Okay, so not to go down the health thing, which is another Let's thing. Let's get I, to I, Kevin hates everything. Kevin hates California. Yeah, uh, California. I wouldn't like. say I hate California because it's beautiful. I hate California. But I hate their gas prices, their food prices, their, their people. everything prices. Actually, the people were nice. Oh, fuck. A lot of homeless people pooping in the street. Oh, like, God. Like, that's not even a made-up thing. They have a waffle double down. What? Oh. Where? It is two pieces of chicken like the regular double down chicken and waffles. with a fucking waffle in between it. KFC. Where is that? Is Why that do they ours? have waffles? Is that our KFC? I don't know. All right, Are guys, I'm gonna have to cut this podcast short. I'm getting <laughs> the fuck out of here for a waffle double down. Wow. The waffle. I'm gonna Google what time. Have you not been to till. Chili's lately? Oh, it says what? it have says you not been to KFC a Chili's lately? Canada. No. They have oh. their the Canadians because they don't believe in hot dogs. Yeah, but this is for Fox Fox News. They so have their chicken crispers. Fuck. It's not fucking accurate at all. What's the date on this? If it's from John's newscast, it's from 2004. <laughs> Yeah, this is fucking old. Current events. <laughs> Excuse me for bringing content to the show, guys. Oh. Yeah, old shit. Well, so, regurgitated. So the one thing I want to bring back from my I hate California trip, Marsh although I liked hate. California, was, and you guys kind of know the answer to this already, but went to dinner, bought two macaroni and cheeses for the kids, mm. waters for all of us. I had a bowl of clam chowder and... Morgan had a crab cake sandwich, and that was 80-some-odd dollars. I want to say 86 or 89 before so, tip. when you say, like, macaroni, are we talking, like, a a macaroni Shells. bowl? Or, like, are we talking about, like, a side? Like a uh, little... It's a bowl of macaroni and cheese, but it's a kid's item menu. Like, they have a kid's menu, and it was still $11. Jeez. And did not come with any sides. Just what? mac and cheese. So what comes on a crab cake sandwich? Because a crab cake, a piece of lettuce, and some sauce of some sort. Tartar of some sort. Yes. Tartar parter. Yeah. Yep. I paid a whole lot of money for nothing. But that was pretty much every meal. And then you should have went to Enterprise. I think it's Enterprise Fish Company or something like that. Don't know about that. Where were you at? Uh, we stayed in Fisherman's Wharf. Okay. So, Sounds like an expensive visit to California. I went through some money. But I it was went, worth it. It's I the first time LA. we ever went to another state for a while. I went to the Peterson Museum. I went down the coast. It was good times. We had a lot of fun. In, um, but what does he know? But what do I know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we stopped in uh, San Luis Obispo, Bisbo, or however you say it. That was a cool little town. And went to Pismo Beach, stuff like that. Pismo Did you Beach go to Hollywood? Fun. Oh, my God. Hollywood. Let me tell you. We're in this tour bus, right? And we're driving down the road to go Is see the Star Is it a double-decker? Sums. No, it was just a single-decker. Oh, I don't have money for the double-decker. motherfucker. Yeah, well, you know, we keep it on I double-deckered a, a toilet once. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get into that? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyways, we're sitting there, and this guy walks up, and his girl, is op- they're both obviously cracked out, like bad. He's wearing Mick Jagger jeans if you know what that is like the awesome. tight like i'm wearing them low and it's like awkwardly low like i'm about to see his junk oh, on accident shit. like yeah. mickey avalon yeah and he has face paint on and he is sitting there with a woman that is dressed almost exactly hold on, the hold same on. what kind of face paint what kind of face paint we're talking like it looked like they like had kiss? been up no it looked kiss. like you fucking old yeah bastard. it looked more like kiss he's a juggalo no not those guys not idiots so Anyways, the, the woman is up there, and they are talking, and I'm not joking, just like this. They go, Rolling Stones, and that's all I heard was <laughs> Rolling Stones. And then at the very next stop, there is a huge, grown Hawaiian man that is out of his mind, like he's bigger than me by a lot, has on a pair of just pants, no shirt, sweating profusely, Holding a life-size teddy bear. I'm not talking about like a little one. I'm talking like a full five-foot teddy bear. And he's talking to it. And, of course, Morgan taps me and goes, look at that. And I look at him. And I'm looking at him just like doing like the smile thing. And we make dead eye contact. And he knows exactly what's going on. And I didn't even look away. I was like, <laughs> yep, we're going we're gonna to do this. That's what's going to happen. And that's pretty much California in a nutshell. was a bunch of crazy, crazy people. Expensive food. And I'm very Everyone happy to live in Florida. Everyone's shitting on the street. Yeah, there's poo everywhere. Actually, I but didn't see that. How was but Disneyland oh my compared God. to Disney World? 
So if anybody watched online of the line for me to get in, it was ridiculous. Like there were, it looked. It gave like, me anxiety looking at the people you had to deal with. Yeah, the crazy thing is, is they got us in really quick, and the park was awesome. Like I, I love Disney in the first place. But the park was awesome because everything's more, like, confined, so you don't have to walk in between rides. And it was really cool. And Camden, what's really neat is, and for some reason, I guess because the park's older, so the safety standards are a little more lax. So, like, Camden could ride everything. So No OSHA. No OSHA here. No, evidently not. So, Frank, every ride was 40. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Inches. No. Oh. Meaning your son could go if you were paying attention. <laughs> You're about to say 40 minutes. No, 40 inches. And 40 all the lines, minutes? The fucking lines in here are two hours. Yeah. I don't know. We fast pass only. <laughs> well, they don't have fast pass. They have a thing called max pass, and it's kind of the same thing, but you get it, – it's weird how it's set up, but you actually get on more rides faster. So that was pretty cool. So we had a great day. I walked – I ended up walking 31,000 steps that day, wow. which for me is a ton – with gout in my foot. Ouch. Yeah. So that Flaring was fun. up. I uh, I was trying to get a good picture of Mick Jagger's pants. And, uh, I um, was picturing it, and I couldn't get it. I'm now fully convinced that uh, he's got a huge package. <laughs> oh, by looking at his pants? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think that's why he wears really tight, all these fucking sound effects. It's always on you, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I feel like John has a vendetta against you. Yeah, he's like, fuck you, Frank. <laughs> no, look at that picture. Fucking Mick do Jagger something, pants. Frank. Well, that's how the, that's how the guy's pants Either work. Either he's got a desert eagle no, down look there. How fucking, <laughs> look how skinny he is. <laughs> Either you got a gun in your looking. pants or you're happy to see me. That's what I'm saying. So that's why you wear pants that tight. There you go. Huge dick. Or it's so next podcast, you're going to see Frank in super tight pants. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and a fake dick. <laughs> now youtube good. youtube will pull us they'll pull us we would hate for uh the three of you that watch this to have to get it somewhere else <laughs> so. so you can log into frank's tumblr and see his tumblr. Yeah. what is tumblr <laughs> my grinder short yeah. no what is he, i don't even know what grinder is so i would say <laughs> tumblr is just a a blog type uncensored you can post whatever picture if you wanted to post Full pictures of your yeah. dick, go for it. Anything you want. Anything you want. Are you on Tumblr? Unfiltered. No, but somehow I must be signed up because every now and then fucking shit from Matt just starts flooding. <laughs> in. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> like, I fucking don't know how either. I get a little message <laughs> and it's like, dude, you got to check this out. <laughs> fucking click it. And it's not only is it like really fast don't and it. really loud. But it like goes right to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and if you don't catch it in time, it's just like fucking Dick City. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Right up Frank's alley. It's the worst. That's why I send it to him. You know, you mentioned before <laughs> that you were thirty. How old? Five. Thirty-five, Matt. How old are you? Putting on the spot, man. Thirty-three. Frank, same. Thirty-three. So I'm the elder statesman here. 39. That's what you're talking about, fucking kids. And Terrace 30. Going to poison concerts in and December. fucking yeah. listening to. Yeah, I'm old. Hotel I'm California. Old I'll be 40 this year. My wife, I am lucky to have a nice young wife. She's uh, 33. Right? You're, you're 33. Tra- you are traded in from the girl you were talking about with the uh, mas- massages, right? No, that was my <laughs> wife. <laughs> uh, it didn't sound like it. Yeah, that was. Uh, Oh shit! Oh, oh, I did. Yes, I did have a girlfriend. <laughs> shit. That, the one before uh, me. Yes, I did have oh, one that shit. was going to school to do massages. Yeah. Uh huh. This was she told you. She was alright. She wasn't that great of a massage, to be honest with you. I just. I, your... I mean, like, uh, I'm learning, so I have to jerk off as many guys as possible. <laughs> so not including uh, you. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I, I want you I to wait like until that. I've really honed in my craft. <laughs> she wants you to watch. Yeah. And you're like, I'm out. But as you get older, I've noticed that, you know, I have to wake up in the night to go into the bathroom a lot more. Are any of you guys having any of that problem? I don't. Listen, you always, you want us to try out this fucking ass blaster 5000. <laughs> you want us to talk about <laughs> being at night. Being at night. Yeah. Ordinary guy problems. Uh, I've woken up twice. I've woken up twice in the last year to shit. 
<laughs> no. Okay. That's Is it weird. If Taco you Bell and fucking yeah. McDonald's before you no, go no, to bed. No, no, no. You know when you have a dream that you're about to pee? Uh-huh. And that's what wakes you up? Yeah. Weird ass dream that I was just pooping somewhere, <laughs> and I was like, "Well, fuck, dude, this is a dream." And that's a question I want for the audience. If I got to grow and listen to this. Has anyone ever pooed in their sleep? Oh, oh man, look, I imagine? put it this way: I just made it to the bathroom, so I definitely wasn't gonna shit the bed. You have a couple of questionable farts, but like actual, <laughs> like no, shitty. this was like it, it. It was like bubble gut that came on, exactly. and fuck. So it's like I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just say I'm skiing in my dream, and then all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> pull over. Who dreams about skiing? It's time to shit in the woods. And you're like, that's really fucking weird because in my dreams I like to have a lot more fun. Not have you ever shit? Had a dream that you needed to pee and you were walking into a bathroom somewhere and like almost peed yourself. I've I, done that. I've like I wake my, up and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not okay. in the bathroom. I've pissed the bed as a grown Frank, adult. It is with uh, kids. It's the middle of July. <laughs> really? It's the middle of July. Have you shit your pants or almost shit your pants this year? This oh this year for sure. <laughs> This month, I don't know. What about, about this you, month. John? No. Oh. Uh, I mean, I no, had a I couple of questions. You just, you just wake up to pee because you're prostate. A couple questionable farts, but yeah, yeah, I'm waking up, waking up a lot. When I first, well, not a lot, but let's say twice probably at night. When I first yeah, started the, the keto thing, thing, like a uh, weekend, yeah, enlarged prostate. No, I no, on the nope. radio. I, I threw a pair of underwear away at work. <laughs> oh my work. god! Yeah, so you had no backup, so then you're like clinched. Yeah, full it was clinched, late, though. Like it was, it was like four thirty. So it was fine. I just made sure I stood up a lot so the ass sweat <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't make its way through. Now I keep wipes at work, so fuck it. Who cares? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just started keto. I started keto and I, I had never, farts I couldn't trust. I Frank, you never saw, since an infant these things, pooped like, my pants. <laughs> Oops, I pooped my pants. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Frank, you always send me these pictures like filters you could put in your underwear. Where like if you farted or shit your pants like it was yeah. like carbon car filter, I, or it makes you uh, it makes you smell good too if you fart. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's filtered and come out. It's like fucking gust of mint. It's like, brilliant gust invention. Gust of yeah. mint. Yeah, that's <laughs> a scent. <laughs> El gusto. Brilliant. Well, of minto. It's kind of you know just like those mint uh, dude wipes. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Dude, I've heard about that. Yeah. That's from Dollar Shave Club? Yeah, I've never used no, those. No, but... is it Dollar Shave yeah. Club or yeah. is it Shit Shave and Shower? Oh, Shit Shave and Shower, I think, is... is I thought we were life. sponsored by another shaving no, company. No, no, no. We John no, fucking no. fucked that up. We got we did. No. But if did you we? put... <clears throat> yeah, because Frank... Because Frank was talking about <laughs> dicks and shit. Frank won the douche... Uh, Frank won the douche of voting on the website, yeah. so... Oh. Uh, I'm fine. We were PG-13. Yeah. It's fine. But is that what guys, they said for real? We're too explicit for them. Really? Too new. We're too new. Well, well what's the name of that company? Uh, uh, Dorco. Why well, should we give them any advertising? No, fuck them. I'm not. I'm going to go fuck off them. on them. No. Things I hate. I'm <laughs> going to I'm gonna send them a video of Frank I bet Dollar shaving Shave his Club butthole. would appreciate us. Yeah. No, with a different either. shaving cream. Yeah, with Gillette. Yep. It'd be like, look here. Fucking at, glide. The my, best a man can get. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so what was the name of the company? Fuck them. Barbasol? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't no, think it was Barbasol. No, Barbasol's fucking yes. good. It was actually Barbasol. Was it? Yeah. Well, Barbasol, they're fucking Dollar, dollar Shave Club no, hooks us up, or they're fucking Gillette. dollar store. They started a uh, shave club. So we were trying to get them The only to thing I've ever used Why Barbasol for Barbasol? is covering somebody's car with it in high school. Yeah. Because I figured since they were new and they were fucking cheap, that they'd say, hey, all right, you four idiots, we'll sponsor you guys. But no, they said no, no. ain't new. Barbasol's you guys are four around. idiots. Uh, Fuck we you. listen to your podcast. You talk about dicks way too much. <laughs> yeah, well, they should like that. You should shave a dick. Yeah. Yep. You don't want it to look like a fucking hot dog that fell on the yeah. carpet and got hair all the way to the tip. <laughs> and you're still wondering if you should eat it or not. Yeah. Frank? <laughs> <sighs> so if I did gonna we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna veer oh, far away from the topic that we're talking about right now. All right, what do we and got? We're going to go into uh, something that we... That we weren't going to ever talk about. Been there, right. done that. We did that earlier. As no, long as it's not about a, me. This is another one. This is this is it, guys. This is the big one. Politics. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Now, uh, before we dive into politics, let's put a little disclaimer out there. We don't care who your preference is, what you vote. What your registration card says. I do. We just care that you do the research and know exactly what you're talking about. 
before you go and you you should stuff. follow me and Matt on Facebook personally. If you follow and you me, will see Matt, oh, exactly shit. how we believe. If you're friends with Matt, <laughs> uh, Kevin, how many or times myself, have you been in Facebook jail, Matt? You know what we how we feel. I lost count on Facebook jail. I, I I'm up to I think a 60 day ban on some of the stuff. That's my next one. <laughs> So and, and you get banned and I share your stuff all the time and I don't get banned. Yeah, I've never man. been banned, but Dude. um, but yeah, people I don't know. report the shit. <laughs> Frank doesn't post Facebook much. Facebook snitch. Much political. I ain't got stuff. none of them. No, got nothing for you. But uh, I Frank's running. <laughs> fucking Forrest Gump. Frank. One of the things we wanted to talk about, or I wanted to bring up, was: Are you guys not tired of the narrative that the news has spun out there of? One news program has one thing. The other news program, they're talking about the same topic, but it's the total opposite thing. An older story I seen uh, today, and this is probably a while ago, CNN was reporting. I was informed earlier that this yeah. was a while All ago shit was by, my, re- by <laughs> my crack research I got late news. Here. It's breaking. So that, uh, CNN reported one time that Trump had given everybody dessert or bought dessert for everybody, and they only got one scoop while he was able to have two scoops. Is that really fucking news? All right, so I have, I don't know if you guys, I cut the cable. So we have the little rabbit ears deal, and you get the the basic channels. And 60, and 35 of them are Spanish. Yeah, so (laughs) those channels are the most, like, ridiculous, like, bashing people i won't say who they're bashing but they're always bashing someone there's nothing good it's not like oh this person is gonna do this no it's this person did this fuck them you should vote for us (laughs) and it's it's bad because okay who are you appealing to at that point if you're on rabbit ears Right. Me, right? <laughs> people people. that cut the cord or poor people, yeah, because they're Old not people. gonna go buy cable. Cable's fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah, but the major networks are on bunny ears, like three, six, nine, thirty-five, whatever. Damn, Halfway she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think we're at the point now low, in our day and age that low, low, we don't low. need to have a Republican Party anymore? We don't need to have no, a Democratic Party anymore. We do. We're we smart are. enough to say, we're not right, smart. You're our candidate. No, that's it. A person you, is smart. You people say, are dumb. You're my boy, Blue. Yeah. So they need a team. It's fucking Republicans, Democrats. It's fucking Coke, Pepsi. It's Ford, it's Chevy. It's Nissan, it's Toyota. It's fucking PlayStation, Xbox. You need a team. Because there's always and if you're on the wrong and other team, side. You. And with that being said, oh, there boy. will be Eschler Everett on the ballot. Oh, oh God. No, or, dude. Because no, one. no way. Because the shit that would come up. No. Yeah. Because of you. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, I agree. Hey guys, we did uh, a really intense search, all of thirty seconds, and we found your text messages. And uh, there's no way we can let you two people run the yeah. free world. Yeah, that's In the thing. In fact, we're going to implement a new law. Yeah. We're actually taking you guys to jail. I can yeah. see it now. Welcome to so and so news station. If you thought grab him by the pussy was bad, wait until you see Matthew Everett's text conversations next. Yeah, and that's the thing, is is I sit here, and when I first heard that, right, I'm sitting there with my wife, and my wife is very level-headed compared to me, and I go, are you serious? That's what they're upset about? Like, my friends are way locker more vulgar talk. than that. Locker room talk. Yeah, it's not even locker room. Like, for my friends, it's McDonald's, like, play place, hanging out, letting the kids play in the, well, you know, the ballroom or whatever. It was... Uh, it was a little bit of you don't go in public and talk, you know, talk like that. But it wasn't but public. It, you also got to be careful. It wasn't about, in public. He was but that's what I'm saying. It comes back to once but, you run for an official. Yes. They're gonna dig Everything. up all the dirt, and if you got. But it dirt, honestly they, wasn't that bad. I mean, and, and no. the, all the people I hear on the Billy Bush the radio, like for instance, the View, they're like, I am so like, appalled. Why are you so fucked. appalled? Like, there's no way. 
There's no way no. any of us can run for office no. because I've sent you all text messages. You're no. all you fucked. Don't ruin it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but True. seriously, how are the, how are they so appalled at that? Well, it's just anything well, anything to bring up to tarnish or to make the opposite party look look right. bad. But then they can so. say things. They can say the N word to people, and they get a free ride because they're whatever. So just recently. Uh, the judge went on the view. Shapiro, and no. Whoopi spit on her. Yeah, it was Janet Shapiro. No, it wasn't. I'll bet you five grand. Okay, it was fucking Judge Judy or whatever. I know it was not about. Judge it, Judy. It was, it was Shapiro. The, I don't know her name, but it was a uh, like black haired girl. Google Hold on, it. I'm gonna Google it. Google Shapiro. I think is her name. It's not fucking Shapiro. It's not Shapiro. Whoopi. Fucking do. Whoopi. Somebody it fill this space. Do. Judge. Whoopi Goldberg. But, you know, even even spits. if it's on the other even if it's on the from the other side, it's the same it's the same way. They're sending I was back close enough. Janine Pirro. They're sending back the same the same stuff and it's just it's a back and forth rhetoric of he said, she said and it's I a think whole it's, bunch of people getting offended. Right. Everyone has a voice now. Look at us. We have a fucking voice. We're doing a podcast. Who the fuck are we? And people listen to us. We got three and a half listeners <laughs> on a weekly basis. We do. And who are we? And then so everyone else, Facebook, I'm offended. <clears throat> right. And expects people yeah. to listen. And then the hashtaggers are the worst. I like all the sexual stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> like, you heard about the people that identify as fucking random shit? Yeah. Helicopter. Apache helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of them, right? Yeah. We, watched, uh, yeah. we watched a video of a woman that wanted to have sex with an oil rig. You can do that. <laughs> she, loved, she loved how it smelled. There's a dude fucking and, cars. Uh, what the fuck? I saw him. Yeah. I feel like that's a little bit in every car enthusiast guy. Like oh, we're not going to oh, actually well. want to have sex. You should with it, just but say like, you're a motorboat. You rub your put dick your on it. You're not going to fuck it. <laughs> yeah. No, this but guy like, got caught. A fucking fresh man. wax job. Video. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's like so smooth. It's sexy. It's nice. It's not like we're going to weird yeah. out like that. Okay. Fresh wax job, and you're still banging out a car. You've ever had it like you know slip out and accidentally like hit the thigh? <laughs> Fuck's going to happen when you hit a fucking fender. None of us is going to hit a fender because we're not doing hitting? that. Oh, Frank. Just, just, just to put an end here to the, to the politics talk, just make sure if you're out I'm there. I'm ready to go deeper, and John. Know, and you don't know who. Let's go a little deeper. Okay. All right. All right. So fucking... depending on where you get your news from. Uh, 20 minutes of editing. Yeah. Just make sure <laughs> that you do your research like you were saying. Yeah. So, to be educated vastly, don't go to one site. Go to multiple sites. And you know what? For shits and giggles, go to your opponent. You I do person, that. You person you hate. I do that. The Communist absolute, News Network every morning. I, I think you should just say whatever you want whenever you want, regardless of the consequences. Whatever yeah, the that works. I'll just, let's just talk about the hacking and the Russia stuff real fast. It's already been proven. I've never, that I've Russia, never, Russia hacked. Have everything. you ever met a, a hacker that leaves the evidence behind? None. Never. I have a serious question. You posted that. Frank's had a serious question. You posted I have a that. Serious question. Favorite fast food pizza place. Ready? <laughs> oh, what's fast food pizza though? Like, not fucking Papa Vito's down on the corner Hungry where Howie's. you get a slice. Hungry Howie's. Papa Vito's is good. Hunger Listen, fucking Howie. Dude, Hungry, Hungry Howie's. Howie's. Call. Free fucking crust. Like, yeah. flavor crust. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say that my favorite to this day, and I worked there for a while, is Pizza Hut. Oh. Pan. Yeah. Fucking oh, terrible. Pizza Hut Pan. Pizza Hut Terry's is a great one. I oh. had a terrible incident at You're Pizza like Hut one time. Yeah. Bit. Pizza Hut Pan's pretty like a good. Mm-hmm. But, hey, Hungry, Hungry Howie's. Howie's. Stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut, though. This Hungry... Uh, stuffed crust sucks. It, this mm. Hungry Howie's over here by my house. Uh, the one that's closed now, but but they used it's to put. That's probably why they're so closed. much cheese. They used to put so much topping on there, so much cheese. It was awesome. You gotta stick to the fucking formula. That's why the one by me does so well. So does the one stick down to the, the road? formula. The Mims one does the same. Yeah. But do they deliver here now? Yeah. Okay. Because this is boring. I just love Mims. that you get free bread every time you order something other than pizza. 
My Hungry yep, Howie's in, do. In, yep. in my area, so you order us, is owned by my neighbor, and he's a really cool guy. You it's order my wings from them. Pizza. They put the bread in there to keep the wings from getting soggy. Yeah. Well, you get, you I get, get free shoes. We got, we yeah. got. They the have the best wings. Them. Hungry Howie's yeah, has the, the best the, delivery the, wings. The bread will soak in all the moisture, and the wings still stay dry. No, the wings, you're not supposed to eat the bread. He did. I eat the fucking bread. Yeah. Why wouldn't you eat the bread? I That seems like a waste of bread. The bread's only there to suck up the moisture, so the Fuck wings don't. Then why do they it put sucks flavoring up the on deliciousness. It. Do you yeah. ever get the Domino's pizza or the Domino's wings that are in the foil and they literally look like they've been like swimming mm. for an hour and a half? Fucking soggy as fuck. Oh, they're so bad, and they're so, so moist that if you bite the mm. wing, like you could bite moist. through the bone. Yeah, moist. I have another friend word. that hates that word, so I, this shout out goes to you, fucking moist. liar. He says he has all these friends. Yeah, I have like I four none friends. Of them. And none like of them are here. Them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that post. Hey, guys, good job shitting on Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Please tell him to stop calling us friends. Are we ordering pizza? Is that what the deal is? I, could, I would uh, order a McDouble. No, because it's Do 1 o'clock in the morning. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, everybody. Somebody's it's, delivering this time. What the hell? Yeah. If we were in whatever state homeboy was in, it would be a hand job. And that's what we would be getting. Kentucky. Kentucky. Kentucky fried hand jobs. Uh, we could open like a backwoods massage place. Sure. And if the chick was in like a camo bikini, dude, fucking do work. sell it. Only problem is uh, she'd quit. Why? I just I just see one girl having to service a million guys dressed in camo. No, uh, dude. We'd have a couple girls. We'd have... Uh, Good stuff. Hey. Hey, yo. All right, so are we are completely uh, off the politics now? I mean, would hope so. Frank made sure we got off there. Frank's We're talking a about little pizza. about politics. Uh, no, it's just that if I can't stand listening to it, I'm sure the audience can't stand listening to it. All three and a half of them. <laughs> sure. Well, with that. Thank you, three and a half. With that. I want you guys to send me on Facebook, please, Dudes. and Dick and, pics. and and no, none of those. I need you to support me pics. in this mission. <laughs> if you are greasy and dressed like a wrestler, but your dick is hanging out, send it to John. You guys are too much. Matt, of what the is dicks. it you say wrestling is? A speedo? What? Two uh, it's one. It's two speedos away from gay porn. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Listen, I want your support because these three guys here need to do the Bud Day Challenge. The Bud Day Challenge. The, these uh, three guys. Bud Day. I'm <laughs> fucking hanging out. You with almost you. got excited when I said that the wrong way. Uh-huh. But <laughs> the Bud Day Challenge. These three guys that are refusing to do it. I want to no. get them on the Bud Day. I want them to try getting there, getting the water to spray up there and clean it nice and squeaky clean. Up where, John? Up there. Where's up there? Right here. Okay. Where your pediatrician likes to put it. <laughs> did, you have so, a, did you have a penetrating telling, nozzle? Listen, he's telling us how accurate this thing is, and then he's like, oh, if you just move a little. It wait a second. Everything. Hold on. Hold on. We may have to make upgrades for Frank, because this, according to his pediatrician, he needs a couple of... Yeah. Uh, like a Hitachi? <laughs> no, I, I just need one of those nozzles with like the tapered may, rubber end. We may need to go to the industrial... Uh, spray <laughs> well, with that guys we're out of here today thank you for listening to the show thank you for your continued support and uh we could we want to be here i guess without you guys right or we'd just be talking to ourselves right we'd still be here make sure to subscribe to the podcast leave us a review help us get to the new and noteworthy portion of itunes watch us and subscribe to our youtube channel as well and we'll see you next week. Sorry, Mom, Dad. <laughs> no, you had better expectations. Take five is a wrap. We hope you enjoyed the show. Check out our description for social media links. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. And join us each and every week. See you next time. Ha 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 ha! Get it!